Long Island also getting ready for Isaias. Nassau County could get some of the strongest winds and flash flooding. You see bulldozers out at the beaches today shoring up the sand dunes to protect against any storm surge. Let's get out to News 4's Greg Sergal in Long Beach with more on the preps happening there. Hey, Greg. Hey, Natalie. You know, Long Beach has borne the brunt of more than its share of storms over the years, but today, even here, it was hard to focus on a storm with weather like this. But all across Long Island, we found people who were taking Isaias seriously, taking precautions today to deal with whatever this storm brings. Umbrellas lined the sand, and joggers and bikers filled the boardwalk in Long Beach today. A tropical storm seemed a distant concern. No one, no one even thinks there's a storm coming at the moment. Tomorrow morning, it'll be a different story. Michael Bowles wasn't waiting until tomorrow. He stopped today to make sure his boat was tied up tight at this point lookout marina ahead of Isaias' arrival. I'm, I'm worried about the winds. Uh, you know, we've heard a few days ago it was 45 to 50, so fingers crossed, you know, the, the less the better for us. Tropical storm winds, in fact, could pose the biggest threat for Long Island on Tuesday. That's why PSEG crews were out trimming trees in Bethpage, working to protect power lines. Batten down everything at home, make sure all of your projectiles are put aside, and uh, just ride it out while sitting in the house. Nassau County's Emergency Management Commissioner says Isaias will hit us like a nor'easter. So today, state parks crews were moving sand to create storm barriers at Jones Beach. And Oyster Bay Town workers were clearing storm drains, all to try and prevent the familiar street flooding and erosion that hits Long Island's south shore. This is probably going to be nothing more than they're used to seeing, but it doesn't mean that it's, it's something to, uh, to take for granted. If it rains, I'll stay in the house that I've been doing for the past three months. What's the difference? Emergency officials in Nassau say the good news is the worst of the storm should only last a couple of hours, and Long Island will have to endure only one high tide during the height of the storm. Hopefully, uh, summer will resume. Come here in uh, Long Beach on Wednesday morning. We're live in Long Beach. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.